Hello everyone. Uh, this is a lesson on Euclidean geometry. In um, 2021 examination guideline, they've added this theorem that you need to prove. It says the line drawn from the center of a circle to the midpoint of a chord is perpendicular to the chord. So you're going to prove this part that is perpendicular. You'll be given the drawing of a, a line drawn from the center to the midpoint. That's why you have these things because it's to the midpoint A, D is equals to D, B. Okay, your first start, you're going to write what you are required to prove. You are required to prove that D1, this angle, is equals to D2, and if they are perpendicular, they are 90 degrees. So you don't get marks for required to prove, but it helps you to see that you have arrived at your answer. Construction, you are going to join. You need to write it in words and do it in a, in a diagram. Join O, A, and O, B. Then you go to your diagram. For the construction, you do dotted lines. You join O, B, and O A and then your proof for this proof you're gonna use congruency so you're gonna say in triangle like you were taught in grade 9 O A D and triangle O B D and then you're gonna find either two, three sides that are equal or a side and included angle and a side. Let's see how we're going to do this one. In this first triangle, OAD, let me put the O closer, OAD, you have this line, AO is equals to OD in the other triangle, OB, and the reason is ready. Because they are both radius, their lines are equal. And then you have line OD is equals to OD. It's a common side. It's a common side. And then the last one, it's AD. That line AD is equals to BD. You were given. It came with a question. Then you can say, therefore, triangle. O, A, D, three lines is congruent to triangle O, D, B, D. And the reason, it's side, side, side. These sides are all equal. You could have used side included angle side. These angles are also equal because they are angles opposite equal sides. But if you have one like this, it's fine. Then if they are congruent, it means that D1, Angle D1 is equal to angle D2 because these, these two triangles are congruent, so they're equal in all respect. Therefore, these two angles will be equal. But what do you notice about these angles? Angle D1 plus angle D2, they're equal to 180. And the reason is angles on a straight line. Now, if these two are equal, it means that D1 is equal to D2, and they're both equal to 90. Okay, this is how you do the proof for this theorem. This is the end of our lesson.